My name is Dr. Peter Hotez, Professor and Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine, and I co-lead a team developing uh, neglected disease and emerging infections vaccine, including coronavirus vaccines. Well, a vaccine is a, um, uh, it's either the, a component of an infectious agent or a genetically engineered component of an infectious agent or the actual infectious agent itself that's been inactivated through chemical treatment or heat that generates an immune response to the to the pathogen that you're worried about. They like to have a short timeline, but the reality is that's probably not possible. This this is not going to go quickly. It's going to take time to uh, figure out that this vaccine is both safe and, and highly protective. So um, even though the goal is to see if we can accelerate things, I think there'll be some efforts to do that. It's really hard to compress those timelines too much. If you get it wrong and, and start and start making a vaccine that's not safe, it has catastrophic consequences. Um, that's why it's really important not to rush this. You know, despite what the anti-vaccine lobby claims that vaccines are not adequately tested for safety, they're probably uh, more tested for safety than any other single pharmaceutical we know about. And um, and we know what it takes to make a safe and effective vaccine. And the answer is it's not quick. Uh, there, there, there's just so much you can accelerate things. We are working hard for a vaccine, but you know we have to downgrade expectations. And there's the realistic possibility that we will not have a vaccine in time for this epidemic. I think that's probably likely, but if the virus comes back, year after year, potentially we would have a vaccine for stockpiling. 